Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Brevo. Brevo, formerly known as Send in Blue, is a comprehensive platform that can help you grow your business and establish strong customer relationships. With Brevo, you have the power to connect with your audience through various channels such as email, SMS, chat, and more. In this tutorial, we will walk you through the basics of Brevo, whether you're just starting out or looking to expand your business. This tutorial will provide you with the valuable insights on how to leverage Brevo's tools at the right time to drive growth and success. So please consider giving me a thumbs up, otherwise I will go ahead and jump right into the Brevo tutorial. First, if you are new to the platform, you will need to sign up. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct sign up page. First, click the link on the Join for Free button at the top right corner. Upon clicking on the Join for Free button, you will be presented with several options to sign up for a new account. These options include signing up with your email, Google account, or Apple ID. Choose the option that suits you best and proceed with the sign up process. If you opt to sign up with email, then the next step is to verify your email address. Brevo will send you an email to the address you provided during the sign-up process. It is essential to check your email inbox for this message. Open the email from Brevo and follow the instructions provided to verify your email address. Verifying your email is an important step as it allows you to proceed with the next stages of creating a new account in Brevo. After verifying your email address, Brevo will prompt you to provide basic information. In the first prompt, you will be asked to enter your first name and last name, as well as your company name, as these fields are mandatory. Additionally, you have the option to enter your website domain, but it is not required. Once you have filled in this information, click on Next to proceed to the next step. In the next step, you will be prompted to enter your address, zip code, and city, and then choose your country from a drop-down menu. Once you have entered this information, click on Next to move forward to the next step. Once you have provided your basic information, the next step involves providing details about your business. Firstly, you will need to select the number of people in your team from the provided options. Following that, you will be asked to indicate the number of contacts you have. Additionally, you will be represented with a radio button where you can select yes if you sell online or no if you do not. Furthermore, if you wish to receive product updates, marketing tips, and other information, there is an option to tick the box for that as well. Once you have made these selections, click on Next to proceed. In the next step, you will be required to validate your phone number. Enter your phone number and click on Send Verification Code. You will receive a six-digit verification code on your mobile device, which you will need to enter to verify your phone number. Once the verification is complete, you will be directed to another page where you can choose your plan. Brevo offers four different plans to cater to various users' needs. Free, Starter, Business, and Brevo Plus. The free plan is designed for users who want to explore Brevo without any cost. It comes at $0 per month and includes unlimited contacts, 300 emails per day, customizable email templates, a drag-and-drop editor, transactional emails, as well as SMS and WhatsApp campaign capabilities. The starter plan is ideal for growing businesses and is priced at $25 per month. In addition to the features offered in the free plan, it includes 20,000 emails per month with no daily sending limit, the removal of the Brevo logo from your communications, basic reporting and analytics, and access to email support. The business plan is tailored for marketing managers and e-commerce professionals and is priced at $65 per month. It includes all the free features of the starter plan, along with advanced functionalities such as marketing automation, A-B testing, advanced statistics, and more. For users with specific needs and requirements, there is the Brevo Plus plan, which offers tailored solutions. The pricing for this plan starts from $1,000 per month and users are encouraged to contact the sales team to discuss their specific needs. In addition to the features available in the business plan, the Brevo Plus plan provides enterprise-grade security, advanced integrations, sub-account management, tailored onboarding, personalized support, and flexible contract options. For this tutorial, we will choose the free plan to explore the platform. To proceed, simply click on the Continue with Free Plan button. 
Upon clicking this button, you will be directed to your account dashboard where you can start utilizing the features and tools available to you based on the free plan. The Brevo dashboard is designed to be simple and easy to navigate, providing you with a user-friendly experience. The dashboard prominently features a left navigation panel that serves as the main hub for accessing different sections and functionalities. The left navigation panel includes important tabs such as Home, Contacts, Campaigns, Automation, Transactional, Conversations, Sales, and Meetings. These tabs allow you to quickly access the relevant sections of their Brevo account. The layout and organization of the panel ensures that you can easily find the features you need. First, let's see how to set up sender email in Brevo. Setting up a sender email in Brevo is an important step to ensure that your recipients can recognize you when they receive your emails. The sender's email is what appears in your subscribers' inboxes. To add a sender email to your Brevo account, start by navigating to your profile section, which can be found at the top right corner of the interface. Click on it and a drop-down menu will appear. From this menu, select Senders and IP. Clicking on Senders and IP will take you to another page where you have different options available including Senders, Domains, Dedicated IPs, and Email Overload Prevention Rules. Since our objective is to add a sender email, we will click on the first option, which is Senders. By selecting Senders, you will be directed to a page where you can manage your senders and IPs. Here you have two options. You can either edit your existing sender email, which is the email you use to create your Brevo account, or you can add a new sender. If you want to add a new sender, navigate to the top right corner and click on the Add a Sender button. Next, you will be prompted to enter the from name and from email. The from name represents the sender's name that will appear in your emails, while the from email represents the actual sender email that recipients will see. Once you have entered the necessary information, click on Save to proceed. Setting up a sender's email is essential for maintaining a professional appearance and establishing trust with your recipients. It ensures that your emails are recognizable and allows you to effectively communicate with your audience. Now let's see how to import contacts in Brevo. Importing contacts in Brevo is a straightforward process that allows you to efficiently manage your email lists. If you have an existing email list that you would like to import into Brevo, you can follow these simple steps. To begin, navigate to the left panel of your Brevo dashboard and click on Contacts. This will take you to the Contacts page where you can manage your contacts list. Next, locate the Import Contact button, which can be found at the top right side of the screen. Click on it to initiate the import process. This will direct you to a new page where you will find two different import options. The first option is to upload a file from your computer. If you have an email list file saved on your computer, you can select the Upload a File button. Clicking on this option will prompt you to either select a file from your computer or drag and drop the file into the designated area. Alternatively, the second option allows you to copy and paste contacts from your file. If you choose this option, you will need to copy the email list from your file and paste it into the blank canvas provided by Brevo. In this tutorial, we will be uploading an email list that we have saved on our computer. To do this, we will select the Upload a File option as mentioned earlier. The process of uploading your email list file consists of four stages. In the first stage, titled Upload Your File, you will be prompted to browse and select the file from your computer. Once you have chosen the file, click on Confirm Your File to proceed to the next stage. The second stage is called Mapping Data. Here you have the opportunity to match the attributes in your data with the corresponding fields in Brevo. So click the Attributes drop-down menu and select the desired attribute. In our case, it's correctly matched the data email. After completing the attribute mapping, click on Confirm Mapping to move on to the third stage. The third stage is Select a List. If you have already created a list in Brevo, you can simply choose that list for the imported contacts. However, if you don't have a list yet, you can easily create a new one. There are two options available, Select a List or Create a List. To create a new list, select the second option, Create a List. Enter the name of the list and select an existing folder or create a new one to organize your list. Once you have provided the necessary details, click on Create List. After creating the list, you can select it to add to your uploaded email list file. 
Finally, click on Confirm Your List to proceed to the final stage. The last stage is to finalize your import. In this stage, you will need to tick the box to accept the agreement. Once you have done that, click on the Confirm Your Import button to finalize the import process and add your email list to Brevo. Once the import process is complete, your uploaded email list will be displayed in the Contacts tab, which can be found in the left navigation panel of your Brevo dashboard. From there, you can manage and utilize your email list for various campaigns and communications within Brevo. Now let's see how to create opt-in form in Brevo. An opt-in form is a web form or a section on a website that allows visitors to voluntarily provide their personal information, usually their name and email address, to subscribe to a mailing list or newsletter, or to receive updates from a business or organization. To create an opt-in form in Brevo, start by accessing the left panel and clicking on Forms under the Contacts section. This will open the Forms page where you can manage and customize your subscription forms, unsubscription forms, and update your profile. Since our focus is on creating a subscription form, click on the Create a Subscription Form button. Creating a new subscription form in Brevo involves completing six steps, Setup, Design, Lists, Settings, messages, and sharing. In the setup step, you will need to provide an internal name for your form. This name helps organize and locate the form easily within your Brevo account. Simply enter the desired name in the form name box. If you are from Europe and need to comply with the GDPR regulations, you can tick the box next to Enable GDPR Fields. Once you have completed these requirements, click on Next to proceed to the next step. In the design step of creating your newsletter in Brevo, you have the opportunity to customize its visual appearance. This step provides two options, Build and Form Design, which are located on the left-hand side of the screen. The Build section allows you to add various elements to your newsletter, such as titles, texts, images, and dividers. You can easily drag and drop these blocks into your newsletter's layout. Additionally, you can include fields in your newsletter form, such as attributes, single choice options, GDPR checkboxes, CAPTCHA, and more. This section allows you to structure and arrange the content of your newsletter according to your preferences. For example, the CAPTCHA field is a useful field to prevent spam bots from adding fake data to your lists. The Form Design section focuses specifically on the design of your newsletter form. Here you can customize aspects such as text formatting, writing direction, background color or image container style, button appearance, alerts, and spacing. These design options help you create an aesthetically pleasing and cohesive newsletter form that aligns with your branding and style. If you enabled the GDPR fields in the previous step, you will see this field here. You can remove this field by returning to the previous step. Once you have designed your newsletter and form to your satisfaction, click on the Next button to preserve your design choices and proceed to the next step. Moving on to the Lists step, you will need to select the email list you wish to associate with your newsletter. If you have already created a relevant list, simply choose it from the available options. In case you haven't created a list yet, you can easily create a new one within this step. Provide a name for your new list and select the appropriate folder or create a new folder to organize your lists effectively. Once you have made your selection, click on Next to move forward in the newsletter creation process. In the Settings step, you can manage how a subscription is confirmed after the form is submitted. This step allows you to customize the confirmation process based on your preference and needs. You can choose to display an on-page confirmation message to the user immediately after they submit the form, providing them with instant feedback and assurance. Additionally, you can opt to send confirmation emails to subscribers, which can include a confirmation link or additional details about their subscription. By managing these settings, you can ensure a smooth and reliable confirmation process for your subscribers. You can also opt not to send a confirmation email after the form is submitted. Once you have configured the settings, click on Next to proceed to the next step, which is the Messages step. In the Messages step, you can manage the messages that users receive when they interact with your form. This step allows you to customize the messages for different scenarios, such as when a user successfully subscribes to your email list, enters invalid user information, encounters an error message, or leaves a necessary field blank. 
For a successful subscription, you can define a success message that will be displayed to the user, conveying that their subscription has been completed successfully. This message can provide confirmation and any additional information or instructions you wish to share with the subscriber. In case a user enters invalid information, you can define an appropriate message that informs them about the issue. This message can guide them to review the field format and make the necessary corrections before resubmitting the form. If there is an error during the subscription process, you can define an error message that communicates to the user that their subscription could not be saved. This message encourages them to try again or seek assistance if needed. Once you have customized the messages to your satisfaction, the next step is to share your newsletter with your audience. In the Share step, you can share your newsletter with your intended audience. This step provides different sharing options to make your form accessible to users. One way to share your newsletter is by obtaining a direct link or URL to your form. By sharing this link, you can easily direct users to your form, allowing them to subscribe to your newsletter or provide their information. Another option is to generate a QR code for your form, which can be scanned by users to access the form directly using their mobile devices. Additionally, Brevo enables you to embed the newsletter form into an HTML website. This allows you to seamlessly integrate the form into your website, providing a convenient and consistent user experience for visitors. Once you have chosen your preferred sharing method and copied the link or embed the form into your HTML website, you can proceed by clicking on the Done button to complete the process. The form will then be accessed and displayed within the Forms tab of the left navigation panel in your Brevo account. This ensures that you can easily manage and track the responses and subscriptions received through the form. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Brevo. You can sign up using the first link in the description. I appreciate that, thank you. There are more things to learn about Brevo, so if you're interested in an advanced tutorial, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to make it happen whenever I get a chance. I hope you found this tutorial valuable and that it has provided you with insights you need to make the most of Brevo. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching and take care.